So if you're a photographer or you're someone that requires minor edit or minimum edit on your image, this is a perfect application for you. You can use this application to retouch your image directly inside of Lightroom, inside of Capture One, and inside of Photoshop. But the best part about the Rimblom app is that it's a standalone app that can function on its own. Also, it's super easy to use, it's user friendly and it doesn't require the internet to function. Also, Rayblum is a secure app because all the photo retouching or the photo process actually takes place locally on your computer. It does not process through the cloud, so it has privacy and security. Let me show you how it works right now. So let's start with Lightroom. So let's say I want to retouch these images right here. I'll first of all make my Lightroom adjustment. So I'll first of all crop this image 4x5. Alright, so 4x5 because it works best for Instagram. Get up a little bit and just hit OK. Let's say I want to take down the highlights. I'm just going to come here and just bring down the highlights a little bit. And also open up the shadow. And um, bring up the highlights a little bit. Okay, let this work for me. Now from here, I can choose to retouch this image alone or I can edit batch of images. First of all, I'm going to show you how to edit single images and also show you how to edit batch images using the Rayblum application. So all you have to do after making your adjustment inside of Lightroom, just right click and you're going to see edit in and just click on Rayblum right here. So you're going to get this option. So make sure edit a copy with Lightroom adjustment so that the adjustment you make in Lightroom can be applied to the image and from here you can choose any format you want to save the image as so i'm going to save it as jpeg okay now i'm going to choose adobe rgb as a color space and eight bit works for me and i'm just going to click on edit so from here it's just going to open the Rayblum application now this is what Rayblum interface look like you can see it's simple and super easy to use we have two styles right here which is the natural style and the fashion style so right now the natural style is be processing because it's unnatural so let's just wait for it to finish processing and you can see the before and after okay so i'm just going to zoom in so you can see the before and after of the natural style if i just click on this eye icon right here you're going to see the before and after so you see the before and the after for the natural so let's try the fashion look so the natural just make it look natural just move the minor imperfection as you can see right here while for the fashion it's more intense and it gives you a more glossy look with the fashion so I'm going to click on fashion right here. I'm just going to have a more intense retouching for the image with the fashion. So right now you can see that when it's processing, the results is really, really good. So let's see the before and after of the fashion. So this is the before and the after. The before and the after. So like I said earlier, if you're a photographer and you like that minor or minimum retouching, this is the perfect application for you. All right. Now you can see under the intensity, we have two sliders, which is the general and the textures. So let's say you want to bring back some of the textures on the image. All you have to do is just bring down this texture slider. I'm just going to bring back some of the textures on the image. Why? For the general, if I just bring down the general, it's just going to limit the dodge and burn it did for the image. So basically, it just did micro dodge and burn for us. So if I take it up, you are going to see the effect for the general. While if I take it down, you are going to see it just like that. So just play with the general and texture slider to fit the kind of image you are working on. So I feel this fashion looks works for me for this image. So see the before and the after, and I'm going to hit OK. And it will automatically apply that image inside of Lightroom for you. So see the one we touched, and this is the original image. So let me just put them side by side so you can see. So let me just add this to the reference, which is the one we edited, so you can actually see the before and after side by side. Pretty amazing. You can see how good the image is looking. Wow. All right. So let's see. This one right here is the before. Why this one right here is the after. All right. Now let me show you how you can do the same thing inside of Capture One. Before I show you how you can batch edit your images with this Rublum application. So let's go to Capture One. All right. Now for Capture One, let's say I want to retouch this image right here. So I'm going to make my basic adjustment inside of Capture One as well. So I'm going to take down the highlights for this image. All right. And just moving this black for the levels inside a little bit all right so let's play with the white balance and see uh i think i'm gonna leave the white balance like this all right now let's have finished doing my basic adjustment so if i want to retouch the skin of this image with Rublum application i'm just going to right click on the image all right then i'll click on edit and i'll click on Rublum. so from here you can choose the format you want to edit the picture as so let's use for this one you can change the bit as well so let's use 16 bits for this one 
Also, you can change the color profile. So Adobe RGB works for me. And you can just play with the aspect crop ratio, but this ratio works for me. So I'm going to click on edit variants. I just go to open this image directly on the Hublum application and again. Pretty easy. So right now it's unnatural. As you can see right now, it's processing the image at the top right here with the natural look. So that's which processing. Let's see the before and after. So see the before for the natural and after for the natural. The before and the after. Now let's try it with the fashion and more glossy look. So I'm going to click on fashion right here and just go to process. And it's pretty fast and everything is working locally on your PC. So it's not uploaded to any cloud. It's working on your PC. So it's secure and pretty private. So you can see for this image, the fashion actually works well. So if I just go back to the natural, so this is natural and this is the fashion, the natural and the fashion. Now if you feel the effect is too much, you can just play with the general slider and also play with the texture slider like this. Okay. So from here, if you feel you're done, just click on OK and just going to save inside of capture one. So this is the retouched one and this is the one without retouching. So you can see the side by side, this is obviously more better. All right. Now let me show you how you can actually edit bad images. Now let's say I want to edit all the images inside. Let me just delete this one. So let's say I want to retouch all the images inside this capture one with the Reblum application. So what I can do, I'm going to press the Ctrl A to select the whole images. Now after making my basic adjustment, I'm just going to right click after making a selection of all the images. I'm going to right click, click on edit with and click on the Reblum application. And by the way, you can also do the same thing on Lightroom. Just select all the pictures you want to edit inside of Lightroom and just click on edit with and open the Reblum application. Now for this, I'm going to use JPEG and I'm going to use 8 bit quality 100% and just click on edit variant. And from here, it's just going to open the Reblum application. And like I said, you have two styles right here. You have the natural style or you have the fashion style. So I'll be going for the fashion look. So I'm going to click on fashion right here and it's just going to process at the top. All right. So let me just zoom in so you can see the before and after. So see the before and the after, the before and the after. And for me, you can choose to play with the intensity by taking the general slider down. But I think I'm going to take the texture slider down a little bit like this. And for me, this fashion glossy look and the intensity slider is just going to apply to the rest of the images. And I'm just going to click on OK. And I'm just going to process the image and save them inside of Capture One folder. So as processing, like I said earlier, if you're a photographer or you are someone that like minimal edits or you don't like over edited image, then this is the perfect app for you. The interface is pretty easy to use, as you can see. Also, it's a standalone app, which I'm going to show you how you can use it alone if you don't have Capture One, Lightroom, or Photoshop. And also, it's pretty secure and it's private. It does not process your image inside the cloud. It does everything directly on your PC. And if you don't have the internet connection, it's still going to work. I'm going to turn off my internet connection and try it with Photoshop so you can see the results. Alright, it has finished processing and saved those images inside here. So these are the JPEG file. So this is it. One, the retouched file. Two, the retouched file. The retouched file. The retouched file. The retouched file. So these are the retouched JPEG. Now I'm just going to turn off my Wi Fi. Alright, and use it as a standalone app without the internet. So I'm going to open the Reblum application. And from here, it's going to say choose image. So you can drag and drop image. So I'm going to click on this place. And just look for the images I want to edit where they are. So these are the images right here. And by the way, if you are shooting raw, you cannot upload raw images straight out of camera to the Reblum application. I just want you to know that. And you can't also edit PSD file with the Reblum application as a stand alone file. So if you want to edit raw file, you have to use Photoshop Capture One or Lightroom to edit raw images. But you can edit JPEG or TIFF file directly with the Reblum standalone application. I just want to put that out there. So I'm going to open this TIFF file right here and click on open. I'm just going to open inside of the application. Now you can see my internet is turned off and it's still processing the images. So you can do it without the internet connection. All right. So let's just wait for it to load. All right. It has finished loading. See if I just zoom in. So let's zoom in this image and see. So see the before and the after. So this was the natural look, the before and the after. So let's try the fashion. I'm going to click on fashion right here. I'm just going to process this image offline without the internet connection. All right, so it has finished processing. So let's see. This is the before and the after. The before and the after for the fashion. All right, so let's try this one again. So it's just going to process offline. Now it's processing the fashion look because we are on fashion. All right, it has finished processing. So let me just make the screen more large. All right, so 
let me just quickly show you the before and after so you can see it's pretty amazing i'm not going to lie so this is the before and the after for the fashion the before and the after for the fashion if you feel it's too much you can just reduce the general or reduce the texture that's the only two slider you have so let's try the natural let's see the natural look you can see pretty fast without the internet connection pretty amazing all right so you can see my internet is still off pretty amazing and pretty fast all right so let's see for the natural look the before and the after the before and after so you have two options pretty easy pretty simple depending on what you want so if i want to export this whole image right here after it has finished doing what it wants to do if i want to export it what i can do is just to come to this save right here so i can choose to save as a t file as a png file or as this file right here i don't know to pronounce it all right so i'm going to click on so you can choose the quality 8 bits so the quality is on 8 bits i'm going to click on save so as I click on save, I'm going to create a new folder so you can see the saved one. So I'm going to rename this one, Reblum. Edit and hit create. And just save these pictures inside this folder right here. So you can see, it's just going to process the whole image with this natural look and just save them because we are on natural. All right, so if you want fashion, choose fashion. If you want natural, choose natural. So it's saving right now. So after I've finished processing and saving the image, I'm going to show how you can actually do the same thing inside of Photoshop. With Reblum, you get one week free trial period. That means you can retouch unlimited amount of images within this one week period. Just try it for a week and see for yourself. And if you like it, you can purchase one more subscription, one year subscription, or a lifetime subscription. And if you use the link in the description below of this video, you are going to get 20% off any purchase you make. Now, it has finished processing. Let me just show you the image inside the folder we created so you can see it before I show you how you can actually do the same thing inside of Photoshop. So I'm going to come to Reblum right here. So I'm going to look at this Reblum edit. And this is one of the images. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. So we have them inside this folder right here which you created. Now let me show you how you can do the same thing inside of Photoshop. So I'm going to open my Photoshop right now. Now once I open my Photoshop, if I want to use the Reblum app for Photoshop, I'm going to duplicate my layer. I'm just going to come to my filter. Now that my filter, I'm going to see the Reblum retouch. I'm just going to click on it. I'm just going to open. I'm just going to load the natural because the style is on natural right now. And if you want fashion, choose fashion. Those are the two options. Simple, straightforward, easy. All right. So I'm going to click on. So let's see the before and after. See the before and the after. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see the before and the after for the natural. So let's try the fashion. So I'm going to try the fashion. Now you can see my internet is still off. You can use it offline. Everything is processed locally on your laptop. All right. So you're just going to load the fashion. Let's see the before and after for the fashion. So this is the before and this is the after for the fashion. So I think I like it like this. So you can choose to reduce the general intensity or just reduce only the texture intensity if you want. So for me, I think I'm going to take the texture down a little bit and just hit OK. And from here, it's just going to open right here. So if I just zoom in to see the before and after inside of Photoshop. So this was the original image before we use Reblum to retouch the image. And this is after we use Reblum to retouch the image inside of Photoshop. So like I said earlier, if you're a photographer and just want minor retouching, this is the perfect application for you. And also try it out, download it to the link in the shop below and get one week free trial period to retouch unlimited images for a week. And after trying it for a week and you feel you like it, you can purchase monthly subscription, yearly subscription, or a lifetime subscription. So click the link in the show of the video right now to start your free trial. And thank you very much for sponsoring this video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.